Spooky crawl space. Seriously though, this is a beautiful space. This is one of my favorite rooms in our home. Uh, you can see that the floor is, those are not stains from floods, that's from when I washed it. And then that's where the puddle got left and dried up. This has been perfectly clean down here. You can see I don't wear any shoes. There's no bugs. There's no bugs in the crawl space. What I, here's what I really wanted to show you. Here's my radon uh, system. And my idea was to mount this, which is the um, liquid level manometer. It's a pressure gauge, basically, uh, in view of down over there where I come into the crawl space so that I could st like just crouch in the, in the crawl space and have a direct eye line with this. But the difference between these two, sorry about that, the difference between these two uh, levels is so slight that you can't even tell really that the thing is sucking a tenth of an inch of water column. So that's the difference between where I am right now, which is what that thing is referencing, the tube on the right here, and the level inside of this tube. So a tenth of an inch water column is all you need. That is how you know you have a really good, well-sealed sub-slab and radon system. When you can run your fan at a tenth of an inch water column, you can see I can hardly tell that there's a difference from here, let alone 30 feet away. Um, so you should really only have to run your radon system like that. If you're running it up like at an inch of water column or more, then uh, probably you have some issues. Now I've got my system, as you know, if you've seen my whole setup, is a little bit more complicated. But uh, anyway, this thing is uh, very important for sub-slab pollution. It's not radon also. So just you know, keep that in mind. I generally do recommend that people have a radon system, even if you don't have radon in your area. Because if a train derails or a factory spills some crud into the ground half a mile away, then you will get that pollution up under your house and it'll evaporate, come up under the cracks under the slab. Uh, and also, slabs like this, you know, my seat here. I really like my little creeper, mechanics creeper. Makes everything a lot more fun. All right, have a happy Saturday, everybody.